Hey everyone, it's Tamara. So for those of you who don't already know, I am super passionate about three things. One, nails. You guys already knew that. Two, sneakers. Have some new sneakers to show you at the end of the vid. And three, chihuahuas. Uh, we actually have two little babies at home. So a couple of months ago, a client sent me a challenge. She sent me a picture of her chihuahua, which just happens to look exactly like mine, like my Blanca. And she asked me to create nail art, um, like a hand painted sort of portrait of her chihuahua. And so this is a quick tutorial on hand painting and how I go about creating realistic type nail art. So when I'm creating realistic nail art, something like a portrait or anything like that, the first thing I do is I mat out my nail. So usually what I'll do is I try to work on a light color, either a light beige or a white background so that my colors can really pop and I will just gently buff the surface so that it's easier to draw on with my mechanical pencil. I use a mechanical pencil and shout out to my friend John Nguyen who is a big fan of the mechanical pencil writing on nails. You have to consider the source of light for your subject and then use that to figure out where to shade and where not to shade. Highlights are also really important because they'll make the final product pop. So don't forget your highlights, especially on the eyes and in any other really light areas. I personally don't like to go crazy with the highlights. I think it can look cheesy if you overdo it. So just remember, there's a fine line between something that looks realistic and cute um, versus something that looks sort of like cartoonish. If you look at things for what they truly are, rather than what your brain associates with them. It's much easier to understand the proportions and to then reproduce them. We also have to use this, this acute sense of observation to be able to achieve realistic shading. You have to consider the source of light for your subject and then use that to figure out where to shade and where not to shade. Okay, so as promised, at the end of each nail tutorial, you get a quick pick of some of my favorite cakes. And today, Antonio brought me this lovely box from Simon's. So big up to Simon's. Is it from Simon's? Okay, then it's from Foot Locker. Sorry about that. Um, he got his at Simon's. So this is the junior version because if you girls don't already know, if your feet can fit in children's shoes, you need to be buying those children's shoes because they are much cheaper, okay? So we've got the Nike Air Max 90 LTR GS in the white particle gray. We saw these a couple of months back or last month in Mexico and they were sold out. So super hyped to get these bad boys. Check them out. And they're like a neon green kind of color. I'm sure you guys can see. And so this is the youth version. So you're gonna notice it's a little bit different than the adult version or the ladies or the men's version. Um, but yeah, these are pretty hype, right? Can't wait to think of an outfit and some nails to match these bad boys. 